This is for my babies. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Jesse and today we have the setup tour. Hope you're all enjoying. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so starting from left to right, we have a whiteboard. Uh, this is where I write just stuff I need to buy or stuff I need to do. It's just a quick reminder. Above that we have a Walking Dead poster. Then on the door we have a basketball ring and a hook that is used for nothing. Um, over on the wall we have another Walking Dead poster, a Star Wars Battlefront poster, and a Steam one. Uh, not posters, sorry, all pictures. Uh, then here we have a chair. We have another one there, but I can I hide it there because sometimes it's only me in the room, so one's all I need. Um, next to the bookcase, we have a Toshiba Z10T. Uh, this is my school laptop. Uh, there's the charger and a stylus for it. I have a guitar, a fold-out table that I use when I'm like sitting here watching TV or playing PlayStation, uh, just to put like drinks and stuff on. Here's the other chair, like I mentioned. I'll take this out of the way. Then on the first shelf we have a Inspiron laptop, which I got from my grandma. She got a new computer, so it just sits here and collects dust. A power board, cables and stuff for my PlayStation, uh, my PS1, sorry, uh, and I'll mention that later. Here we have a case for something which you'll see a couple of shelves up. A lap table, so I, like when I'm sitting down, I can use it as a table for like. I don't know if I'm on my laptop or like if I need to draw or write something, I don't know. Um, a laptop case which I use for school. Then up on the next shelf we have a Hello World coding book. Uh, an MSY uh, bag which I have cables and stuff for when I go to LAN parties. Or when I will be going to LAN parties. It just saves me because my desk is all like cable managed. It saves me having to take them all out and everything so I can just unplug the PC and just take this bag with me. Here we have a really old like clock that like it's like still like the, the flips, like the numbers flip down. I haven't got that hooked up because I don't think I have enough uh, available uh, power slots in the wall. Here we have a fan and a heater in one. Uh, I just use that. I usually don't use the heater setting, uh, but I will use the fan setting quite often. In this red container, we have uh, just a collection of cables. Then up a shelf we have a bin, uh, a coffee mug, which was a grenade. It had the handle on it, uh, but I dropped it, so now I use it for like pens and stuff. Here we have some uh, mug coasters. Uh, you can put little pictures in them, but I haven't had time to put some in yet. Next to it we have a uh, Doctor Who TARDIS coffee mug slash cookie jar. It's got a couple of like coins in there and it just holds up all my uh, all my books and stuff. Behind that we have a Bobbit Extreme. Uh, usually just like people when they come over they'll play it. I don't think they play it often. Uh, going up a shelf we have a collection of games. So PC, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, I usually just play everything on Steam anyway. PS4, play, uh, Plants vs Zombies, Battlefield 4, Far Cry 4, Minecraft. Drive Club, Knack, Little Big Planet, Call of Duty. Again, not not a whole lot. Next up, we have 3DS games. So, Mario Kart 7, Super Mario 3D Land, Green Lantern, Nintendo, Mario and Sonic at the London Olympic Games. I don't really play my 3DS that much. Um, here's some old DS games. PS1 games, so like Grand Turismo and Topper and everything. Like Die Hard and Mission Impossible. So, yep. Then next to that, we have a Pinock Craft-O-Matic. It's a typewriter. Here we have a iPod. That's an iPod Mini and that's an iPod Net. Going up a shelf, we have uh, a few like Rubik's Cubes and stuff. So like 3x3s, 5x5s and I don't know, like a Decagon or something. An Elastic Band Ball, just an Angry Bird. A Yo-Yo. A $5 Australian coin, which is pretty cool to be honest. It's like, it's bigger than a 50 cent coin. Star Wars Battlefront mug, which I got from my collector's edition Battlefront. 
uh, Queen Amidala, Bobblehead, uh, Boba Fett, Star a Stormtrooper, sorry, and I forgot his name. Uh, like a puzzle that's in the shape of a dog, and you can like you can make it into other shapes as well. Here we have a custom painted CPU cooler. I don't use it, but it looks pretty cool. A Microsoft wireless keyboard, which is just for show. Here we have just like an old motherboard with a, in, in, a really old NVIDIA graphics card. It actually has an MSI cooler on it as well. And then underneath this uh, CPU cooler we have, I think it's either a Pentium D or a Pentium 3. Yeah, it's something like that. Oh, and for just like a, an ATST walker. Like a thing. So yeah, uh, moving across we have uh, just a, a bunch of two like headsets so one's plantronics you, you would have seen that in like my previous room setups and then behind that some really old like play ones then moving across we have this really cool like glass like light up tiger thing so this base has leds in it that shine up but this glass thing's like it's got like air bubbles in it so it's like 3d it's pretty cool then across we just have some hand sanitizer. Uh, behind here we have a cactus. And now we will move on to the desk setup. So here we have the Corsair K70. Uh, it's RGB, so as you can see I have the, the rainbow wave effect going from left to right. But I'll leave a link to another website or shop for you guys to look at. Uh, it's a great keyboard and uh, I'd recommend it to really anyone. It's great for typing and gaming. Uh, across we have the Razer Death Adder. Uh, I didn't get the Chroma version, just because it came out like a month after I bought this one. So, I don't know, maybe, I don't think I'll go with Razer in the future, but it really is a great mouse. Uh, it's got two, two extra buttons on the side, which you can program in the Razer Synapse or Synapse program that they have, but yeah. Uh, here we have the, just the back of my Samsung Galaxy Note 4 which is my daily phone driver and is actually what I'm recording on at the moment. Um, here we have uh, some Logitech. Oh, we will be looking at the, uh, I think it's the, the Logitech uh, Pro. It looks pretty good. I'll, I'll leave a link to that one as well in the, in the description. I think that's going for like 150 bucks though, so it's quite expensive, but it does, I think it does 1080p recording as well with an inbuilt mic and stuff. Uh, and then for my monitor, I have an LG ultra wide uh, 2560 by 1440. I think that's it. Yeah, 20. Yeah, uh, 16 by 9 ratio uh, monitor. Yeah, it's really it, it's a great monitor. I would honestly recommend it to anyone. Uh, it has DisplayPort in, HDMI in, and DVI in. It's also got uh, headphone in as well because. So it's got it's got its own speakers. Uh, I think it's got it's wall mountable, so it's got the the bracket on the back. Um, the software like in it is quite good as well. So you've got like menus and stuff. You've got game mode. You can also do uh, there's this PBP. I don't forgot what that stands for, but it allows you to have like obviously two displays in. So you could have your PC running on this side and like your PlayStation running on this side. The settings are quite uh, like really easy to navigate through as well. So you can adjust brightness, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, uh, and then as you can see underneath, I have some LEDs. Let me show it the back as well a little bit. Some LED lighting, which is controllable through here. Uh, so put it on like flash and like strobe or fade. We have the Samsung Media on the mic. Uh, it has headphone out, so you can listen to yourself. Uh, a microphone, stand, mount thing, which I'm thinking of actually sitting up over there if I ever got a stand for it. Uh, the legs can move well, it's grippy. Um, here we have the remote for the fan and the light. Boop, beep. See if that just sits there in case I get too hot or too cold or whatever. Um, here we have the Jabra Revo Wireless. Um, I did a video review of them uh, in my previous video, so I'll leave a link to that as well. Uh, they're actually really good. Um, they're small, they're light. They're wireless. Uh, moving across, we have the beast. Inside, we have a. 
that's what I chase. Here we have some keychain gun thing that like flicks out into like a knife, but the knife isn't. Uh, here we have the Stormtrooper keychain which came with my collector's edition Battlefront. Uh, just an elastic band gun, which isn't actually loaded. Uh, some lava lamp. Uh, here we have just two PS4 controllers. Got a red edition, because kind of like blue and red is like the theme. Blue, red and black is kind of the theme of the, the room. And then, oh sorry, I meant, missed this one. Underneath we have just a drawer with like the uh, some really old phone uh, stand clamp, which I used as a headphone that was there and I had the headphones on them. Uh, Nintendo 3DS XL. Below that, we have just uh, a number of puzzles, which I use like if my friends want to come over and just like have a shot with them. So yeah, that's got puzzles in them as well. Then underneath here, we have just some towel, which I forgot was in there. Uh, alongside, we just have two chargers, one micro SD for Android and one iOS lightning cable. Or oh, sorry, Apple, not iOS. But yeah, so that's for if I need to charge my phones or iPads or if someone else needs to, they can just plug it in there. Here we have a number of stuff. So here we have just like a collection of stuff like USBs are in here, hard drives, power banks, some cords and stuff, the mouse mat, uh, printer ink. Uh, so yeah, it's just a number of just random stuff. In the middle drawer, we have just tools or like PC molding sort of stuff. So you can see like here's some rings for the Corsair. I think it's like SP something, SP100 or something like that. I've got the blue one in there. Uh, some cable management stuff, screws, screwdrivers. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's, that's really just their zip ties as well. And then down in there, you can't really see because the PS4 is in the way. But I have another 3DS XL and just its charger. Then here we have a Sony PS4 Black, not the one terabyte edition, I don't think. A little dusty actually. Um, then above that we have the Netgear Wi-Fi range extender. This is the oh, uh, this is the AC1 1200 megabit per second Wi-Fi range booster. It comes on a stand, so you can stand it uh, vertically. But I kind of like the look of it on top of the PS4, and it's got that red look as well. Then along here, sorry, down here, we have all the cables which are hidden. Oops, I need to get like a new bit of wood to like put all the way across here, uh, just to kind of hide what's down in there. Here we have just some old compact Presario PC that had a Pentium D inside it, but it's empty now. Um, underneath, we have two Logitech speakers. Uh, and a subwoofer with them, so that's connected to this part here, the little controller, which is also connected there, um, which then connects to the computer. Why I have it connected there is I have a splitter there, which I can connect those two speakers to, so I can unplug them from the computer, plug it into there, and then I kind of had like a semi surround sound, so it's like there and there when I'm sitting down. Um, so this is a, a high sense. I don't know exactly what the model is, but it's something like 40 inch or something like that. But yeah, I've got just a couple of cables. Like tried, I tried to hide them as well as I could. Uh, the remote forum. Then underneath here we have a HP pavilion, but I like custom modded it a little bit. It's got different parts inside it. It actually runs. It's got Windows XP in it, but as you can see, I cut out a hole for a fan so that works because it only had like one fan at the back like as a rear exhaust so I thought if I could get some cooler air onto the CPU it might run a little better but it didn't so I don't use it anymore um, then along here we have two Sony PlayStation 1's uh, I'm pretty sure yep this one here is the only one that actually works uh, as, I, as I said before with the cables over there I need to uh, hook it up but I think I might I'll hook it up when I get a new TV unit like one with actual shelving because this is just two PC cases and a door uh, but it's, it looks pretty good and does the job uh, above here we have the Star Wars Battlefront poster that it's double-sided but it came with my obviously it came with the 
uh, Star Wars Collector's Edition game. Here we have a Sony PS2. Uh, this is not the slim model. I had the slim model, uh, then something happened to it, so then I just got this off a friend. I don't think this runs. Here we have a tripod. This is the this is the Slick F153. I did a review of this uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, I have a red carpet on the ground, which kind of helps the red theme. Here we have just a Star Wars printout, uh, and another one, another Star Wars, uh, The Empire Strikes Back. And yeah, so that is basically the entire, the entire room, so I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please make sure to give it a good old thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you did not like it. I don't know, comment what, I th what you think I should add or get rid of. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.